understand the point spread and all that stuff yeah. that matters when it comes to the tournament season and wins and losses. So we just want to continue to put points on the board and get stops and stretch out the lead as much as we can. Guys play it together. How much usually that's an offense thing, you know, getting in rhythm together. Is there defensive rhythm too? Oh, Certain yeah. guys play together? Uh, for sure. We, we all know Gabe does a good job on defense, but we have certain lineups where we're so big that uh, it's hard for guys to score over top of us. And we had lineups like that tonight, but we were just fouling a little bit too much. The coach told us that we can't put these guys on the free throw line. These guys can see they're a tremendous free throw shooting team, but uh, our defense definitely <coughs> energizes our offense. We've really been taking pride in getting stops. The way they've started in conference play, they obviously really wanted to win tonight or this afternoon. Is it different playing a team that's really desperate for a win? For sure. Kansas State was a prime example. Of, Coach warned us before that game that they're going to give it their all, and that was basically their season right there. They needed to beat us, and uh, the same, same with these guys. And it's just all about executing early and having more intensity than the other team. And I, I think we kind of got off to a flat start compared to our other starts, but we executed down the stretch. How important was Gabe's return to you guys? Uh, you know, he missed the first three games. After that, you guys kind of switched defenses a little bit. And now it's a it's a whole, totally different defensive team that started the season. Yeah, um, he helps us tremendously on defense. And we, he honestly does, could care less about scoring. I try to tell him he needs to <clears throat> look to get his own a little bit more, but he's totally comfortable with his role, and that's exactly what we need is guys to just come in and do what they do best. And he's been doing a tremendous job the last few games for us. Tell me about halftime today. You guys went in, you know, 28 and looked like it was just going to go through it, and, and then you couldn't make a shot. You weren't playing great defense. and. How did you straighten it out in halftime? Uh, I mean, I know you guys, coach. You guys know that coach got on us for sure. But uh, we we talk before coach gets in there. We we know what's going on because we're on the court and we just tell each other what we need to execute in the second half and we go out and do it. So. Hey Jermaine, this is a, another milestone win for Coach Huggins. Ties eight off rough. Um, He's not necessarily a guy that cares so much about these milestones, but is, is it meaningful to you guys as players to be a small part of some of that massive history that he's built in his career? I mean, I'm trying to get him as many wins as I can before I get out of here, but we definitely take that into consideration because he's going to be a Hall of Fame coach, and just to be a part of that is... I can't. I don't even have words to explain what that is, but I'm glad that he, we got the win for him tonight and continue to get more wins for him throughout the season. He has talked all year about how together this group is. Uh, you guys are really playing well together right now. But does he have anything to do with that? Does it start with him, that, that togetherness? It starts with the entire coaching staff. Uh, they show up. They work harder than us. They're in the gym before us. They leave the gym after us. And honestly, without them, I don't think we'd be in the position we are today. So. I give all my praises out to them because they continue to work, work, work as hard, and they continue to stay on us every day and make us get better. So we definitely need those guys for sure.